Right, hi everyone. Uh, I'm just going to show you uh, how to uninstall a bit of software on a computer, your antivirus. This is my brand new Acer Aspire computer uh, laptop and it seems to have come with about a one month trial of Norton antivirus. One month is useless, it gives you no time to get to know a program and after that they're trying to get me to buy it so forget that. Um, I don't trust Norton, I'll explain as I'm going along. So. Once you've powered up your computer, use the search bar there and type on, type add, as in, there you go. All you've got to do is type add, and then it'll show you add or remove programs. Go up to that and click on it. And this will show you what programs are installed on your computer. And then what you want to do is, I'm just using, using the mouse pad to move that. Move that, or you can touch on where the arrows are on that bar on the side which annoyingly disappears what a stupid feature that is to have these bars disappear all the time what is the point of that see do you see how it just disappeared when i'm not touching the mouse now i'm touching the mouse it comes back it's just utterly pointless feature whoever designed that needs to be shot all right anyway so scroll down here and find whichever bit of software it is that you want to remove, you can remove whatever software you don't want. Quite often when you buy a new computer they give you trials to all kinds of different things you're never going to want to use. Sometimes they'll give you a game trial, like I said in this case it's antivirus I want to get rid of. Now what do I call it? Norton, Norton, there we go. So they call it Norton Security Ultra. And so what you want to do is click on that and where it says uninstall click on that and it gives you a little warning this app and its related info will be uninstalled right click on uninstall do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes your device yes I do and now the it says My Norton Uninstaller. Select your uninstall preferences. I plan to reinstall to keep my settings. No, I do not. Uninstall Norton and remove all my user data. Well, there isn't really any user data. I haven't really done much with it since I've had it. it this is this is why I'm uninstalling it. Norton have failed to give a nice presentation on how to run virus scans with this. I've I've, I've been using computers for 20 years, so I know very well how to do that on other software. I'm just saying about this particular bit of software that was given to me. I didn't even know it was on the, the computer when I bought it, to be honest. It wasn't even mentioned in the description that you were getting any antivirus with this computer. So I don't want it. I'm going to put something else on it. Um, Windows 10, Microsoft Windows 10, the operating system that runs this particular computer, comes with its own Windows Defender antivirus. So you, you, could, you, you could, if you trust Windows, use that. I don't um, trust Windows antivirus, so I'm going to install something else on it called um, Malware Bytes Anti Malware, um, which I do trust. It's not just antivirus, it also blocks all kinds of other rubbish like pop up windows, um, etc. So, anyway, so uninstall Norton and all my user data, da -da 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 -da, and then click on uninstall there. And just show you the time so you can see how long this takes to do 6 09 pm. When I'm starting to do this. Uninstalling Norton Security Ultra. Please take two minutes to share why you're leaving us. Um, no, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to do that. So I'm going to click uninstall again. I think they've probably popped that up to try and delay me. Let's click uninstall again. There we go. Yes, they did stop. I'd already clicked uninstall and then they did that thing to try and get me to fill in the survey to tell them why I'm uninstalling it. As I've said, Norton have failed to... All they need to do is provide a video that shows you easily how to set up Norton, how to schedule scans like I used to do with uh, another company called Avira Antivirus. I used to set it up to scan once a week. Um, they also need to show you where files go if you do catch something and you quarantine it. That's basically like locking up a virus you found, padlocking it if you like, so that it can't do any damage to your computer. 
Norton just installs a bit of software on your computer and expects you to be bothered to learn how to use it with no explanation. So that's why I'm getting rid of it. There we go, right, what's that say? Tap, click, right, so that's Windows is detected that my antivirus has now been uninstalled. So what normally happens when you when when a bit of software is installed on your computer, you can only have one antivirus running, you can't have two. So because Norton was installed on my computer by Acer, the company that made my laptop in the factory, um, Windows Defender would have been switched off. So once Norton's uninstalled, Microsoft can detect that now there's no antivirus installed. Okay, Norton Security Ultra has been uninstalled. It's a complete process. I have to restart the computer. So I'm going to do that. And just to show you, 6.11. So it only takes a couple of minutes to do something like uninstalling your software. I'm going to click on restart now and do that. So the computer will obviously shut down and then restart. Um, I'll make a separate video to show you. I might make a separate video to show you how to install um, the other antivirus I get. It depends if I if I can find the time. But anyway, for now, that's how to uninstall uh, antivirus from your computer. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. And obviously, I should say, now that that's switched off. Well, well hold on, hold on. I'm not going to stop this video. Hold on. I'm going to. Uh, I'll show you now. Hold on, I've just got to sign in. Oh, so I'm just signing into my laptop. Okay. So you used the blooming fingerprint thing there and it didn't recognise it, which is annoying. Got a tiny little button there on your, on your mouse tracking pad. And that scans your fingerprint, that's how it unlocks instead of using a password. So then I had to put in a PIN number, they give you a PIN number, right, hold on. Just got to wait, it's opening up the browser windows that I had opened before, I'll just get that out of the way so it doesn't confuse you. Now, let's have a look. Would Windows have switched on its own antivirus? Ooh, I hope I didn't just fill my internet address there. Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look at what we got. That window down there. Ah, there you go, right. Hover over to that little, I'll just show you. Another annoying feature of Windows is there's a few little icons down there. That This is what's called the taskbar, bottom right of you. Why they decide to hide away, show hidden icons. Hiding icons doesn't help anybody. I don't see the point of doing that. They should just lay them out across the bottom there. It's impossible to do when I'm holding a cam camcorder, but I think you can drag them and put them here if you want to which is what I will do. Uh, hold on a sec, I'm going to do that. I'm going to attempt to drag that icon onto the taskbar and see if that happens. Yes. Okay, so I'll just drag that with that icon there. I'm just going to drag a couple of other icons there for my own. I like to be able to see the stuff that's going on. Right, okay, so I've just dragged a couple of other icons there. So, that icon that looks like a shield Window security actions needed, so click on that. That'll then open up window security, a, a large browser, a, a large window. And did a little bit. security glance. See what's happening with the security and health of your device. Take any actions needed. Right. So it's telling me I've got a firewall. That's good. It's telling me virus and threat protection. Well, the fact that there's an X should tell you that something's off or switched off. Engine unavailable. Engine is not a particularly useful word to use on a computer for people, but let's see what happens if I click on load updates. Again, I'm going to pan away just in case they go and show like my Microsoft account or my email address that's linked to my Microsoft account for my own privacy. It probably won't, but... You never know what stupid is there. Obviously, they're not planning on people filming their screens, so that's just checking for updates at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to switch on Windows Defender. I need to switch it on for the moment until... There you go. Right. Let's now switch to green. Virus and threat protection. No action is needed. 
Um, so that should mean that the Antifrice now, and I've now got a green tick on that little shield icon. Let's hover over it now and see what it says. Windows security, no actions needed. So that should mean Windows security, Windows Defender is what it's called, is now switched on and I've now got Windows antivirus protecting my computer from computer viruses. Um, let's just, I'm just going to click on it one more time, even though it's green. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what else it shows you. Right, so last scan not available. I've only had this laptop for about a month and I haven't obviously used Windows Defender. I've, been, I've had Norton on it. Um, let's just have a look. Virus and tech protections. No action needed. Okay. Who's protecting me? I'm just going to click on that Manage Provider. Let's just see what it says. And here you go. Who, the security provider I've now got on this computer is, as I said, Windows Defender Antivirus is turned on. That's what you want to know. Why well, couldn't I have made that a little bit clearer? Windows Defender Antivirus is turned on. So there you go. You always need a, a firewall on your computer as well. Make sure you've got a firewall. You can get, I used to use something called Zone Alarm. That's another bit of software you can install. I used to run two firewalls actually. You can have Windows Defender, I'm um, sorry, Windows Firewall, and I had used to have Zone Alarm on as well. And that blocks a lot of rubbish getting into your computer as well. Anyway, there you go. That's how to uninstall software, especially your antivirus if you don't want it, and how to turn on Windows Defender antivirus on your computer. Now, as I said, Using Windows Defender, because it's made by Microsoft, that's um, you're trusting Microsoft to defend you against the viruses that attacked that attack your Microsoft operating system. If that makes any sense, so it's like it's like trusting the. How do I explain that? Um, I was trying to think of a thing like poacher turned gamekeeper kind of analogy, um, but basically, because there are th there are holes in Windows software, people find ways to attack your computer. <laughs> You're then trusting Microsoft to defend you against the holes that are in its in its software. So there's a lot of people that still don't trust Windows Defender antivirus as being good enough. It's, it's improved a lot over the last few years since they've come up with it. Um, as I said, I don't trust it enough. I'm going to switch to a program that's called Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. So that'll be another video if I choose to film showing you how to do that. Otherwise, just buy Malware Bytes Anti-Malware. Let me just attempt to show you. Uh, hold on. I'll, sh I'll try and film my other computer screen in a second. I need to get some stuff out of the way so I can show you. Right. Okay, so that's how it's spelled. Malware Bytes. And I believe the product I've got is called Malware Bytes Anti Malware Premium or something like that. But that's how it's spelled. Malware Bytes Google App. Install that. And it doesn't just do antivirus, it also, as I said, Sometimes you're on a website and you click on a link and it'll open up another browser window, which you don't want. It's most likely going to be some kind of an advert, a dodgy advert or something like that. That Malware Bytes can block those um, pop-up pages from actually showing the advert or dodgy thing. Um, and I've grown to trust it. So I like it. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. I'll stick this in my um, YouTube account. And I'll add it to a playlist. Um, oh god, hold on. <laughs> hold on. And don't complain about this video being long, it's helpful. I don't care how long videos are if they're helpful. There's so many videos people put up on YouTube these days where people attempt to explain things that should take 20 minutes to explain in two minutes and you're just left baffled. 
Um, so let's just show you. Right, my YouTube account has uh, obviously you're watching this a bit. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash awesome full HD videos is my account. Once you're on there, click on where it says playlists and then click on where it says created playlists. And this is where I group together videos that I've made. And I will put this video into this one here Computer Setup Help My Vids. Okay, you can see the 16 videos, and I'll just click on that. Now, you don't have to click on where it says play all. You can view the playlist, click on that. And this is where I'm showing you what I've done to this particular laptop I'm filming at the moment. So I'm showing you the unboxing of this laptop and then I'm showing you all the different software I'm putting on it. So you can do the same thing. You can buy a laptop, you can watch my videos, you can watch what videos and what software I put on the laptop and what I adjust in the settings etc. And So if you don't know a lot about computers you can just follow what I do and learn how to use a computer and how to set it up. All the software you need to put on it, all the different things you need to do. Right, so there you go. Thank you for watching. Bye bye folks.